This is the ultimate camera showdown of Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra versus Google Pixel 8 Pro. Insane specs versus insane value. Let the battle begin. Another high-end camera phone battle between the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and Google Pixel 8 Pro. Although there's a year difference, 2023 versus 2024, both phones are actually separated by just a few months. Google Pixel 8 Pro was released at the end of 2023 and S24 Ultra to start of this year. Today we're shooting both indoors and outdoors and you will see a lot of blue sky because although it is still snowing in Canada, but the weather is getting warmer and warmer, we're also taking pictures of people, colorful things, and flowers. Our first test is color profile and saturation and both phones are looking very similar. Samsung Galaxy really toned down their colors to be natural looking as possible. But even though they're natural looking, you'd still see a little bit of differences on how both phones render colors. The new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra manages the highlights better. It manages those strong light source better, but it's actually flat looking compared to Pixel 8 Pro. You would also notice that the shots coming from S24 Ultra's warmer white balance. You would see this outdoors where there are snow. Galaxy S24 Ultra is yellowish compared to the competition. Also, you will notice that even though Galaxy S24 Ultra toned down its colors, you would still see that the colors are a bit punchier and more vivid than Pixel 8 Pro. My first observation, colors are brighter on the new S24 Ultra. Outside the color profile, you'd also see that most of the images taken from S24 Ultra's main sensor is wider compared to Pixel 8 Pro. Some of the shots I have to adjust on S24 Ultra, so it will have the same framing as Pixel 8 Pro. The dead giveaway is the sky is bluer than Pixel 8 Pro, and if we check all sensors from the ultra wide down to the telephoto, it is a whopping 100 times pay zoom, it is a farther reach compared to Pixel's flagship. While the new Pixel 8 Pro has one of the nicest image output you would see on a smartphone, even though there are lots of upgrades on popular devices like Vivo, Apple, Huawei, and OnePlus, the computational photography of Google is still good, still one of the best even in 2024. One of the things I noticed is the highlights. Although it's not as flat as what you can see on S24 Ultra, you would still notice it doesn't blend with the colors. You would still see highlights on white and blue and other colors on strong light source. There's more depth on the highlights compared to Galaxy S24 Ultra. And all throughout this comparison test, you would notice that Pixel 8 Pro has cooler white balance than S24 Ultra. But what I like about Pixel 8 Pro is, it has a bit of contrast that provides depth to the images. Also outdoors, you would see that the sky is lighter on Pixel 8 Pro. And in terms of range, it's not so bad. Although S24 Ultra crushes Pixel 8 Pro on the farthest zoom, but they both have 5 times optical zoom if you want to have those detailed and nice looking zoom shots. I think in terms of colors and overall look, you would love any of these two phones. Again, they are on the natural side. If you don't do a comparison test, one would argue that the images are probably coming from the same phone. Nothing crazy, fancy, or cartoonish. And looking at all sensors from the ultra-wide, wide, 5x wide, optical zoom and the farthest reach, Galaxy S24 Ultra's 100x pay zoom that provides a more close-up shots compared to Pixel 8 Pro. We have the dual recording functionality on Samsung Galaxy S24. So you can see both sides, there's no dual recording mode on Pixel 8 Pro. Let's talk about portrait mode and both phones produce really nice looking portrait shots, but definitely you would see big difference on how they handle portrait mode. Starting with Galaxy S24 Ultra, it will give you a more natural looking portrait shot than Google Pixel 8 Pro. The contrast and shadows are stronger on the new Samsung flagship and you will notice that the skin tone is a little bit warmer than the competition. What I like about Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra is the subject separation or edge detection. It is 99% spot on compared to Google Pixel, which sometimes struggles if you have a busy background. While Google Pixel 8 Pro is famous for its portrait light, where it actually emphasizes on the subject's face, you can even change this when you edit the photo using Pixel AI. If you're looking on a bigger screen, you will notice that although the face is whiter, there's more information and details on my face. You would see the skin pores as opposed to the smoother skin of S24 Ultra. Pixel 8 Pro or any other Pixel phones are not known for edge detection, so it's a hit or miss on the Google's flagship, but sometimes when you get the really good portrait shot, even the edge detection looks similar to the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. What I like about the Samsung flagship is the field of view. You have four different focal lengths as opposed to the two of Pixel 8 Pro. You have five times the optical zoom, which is close to 100mm range, from head to toe to almost just a face on S24 Ultra. Also, if you're holding this phone and you're taking the portrait shot of the rear camera, the One X of S24 Ultra is more usable than the punched in 1.5 times of Pixel 8 Pro. 
If you go on a low light portrait shots, although Pixel 8 Pro is darker, if you're watching this on a bigger screen, you will notice that it is sharper and smoother compared to the more exposed S24 Ultra but with artifacts on the face. So if you're looking on a bigger screen, I would prefer Pixel 8 Pro but if you're looking on a smartphone, I think S24 Ultra is more inviting than the Google's flagship. Going for the selfie camera, it's super close. The only difference is there's more information on my shirt on Pixel 8 Pro compared to S24 Ultra, but in terms of details on my face and the cutout, you would hardly know the difference between the two phones. Going for the night shots, the images are closer than what I expect them to be. I think it is better exposed on S24 Ultra looking at the sky. Sometimes Pixel 8 Pro is just pitch black. Also, both phones are handling flaring really well. But you will notice that S24 Ultra's warmer white balance compared to Pixel 8 Pro. Google's flagship is more natural looking than Samsung. But in terms of sharpness, I feel like S24 Ultra is a little bit sharper on the text compared to Pixel 8 Pro. If you look on the details, there's a little bit of over sharpening on Pixel that provides more details on the areas like the floors. But I think I would give the win for Pixel 8 Pro on Nightshot just because it looks natural. Sometimes S24 Ultra has this pinkest exposure that makes the image look cheap. Feels like coming from a mid-range phone but if you get the right angle and lighting, both will perform really well. Looking at all sensors, both has ultra wide, wide, and 5x optical zoom but only S24 Ultra has an extra 3x optical zoom. This is 8K video recording on the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. There's no 8K on Pixel 8 Pro. So if you want a phone that is future-proof in terms of video recording, then this is the right phone for you. Let's talk about flaring and today the sky is a little bit cloudy on daytime. But on nighttime, you could see on the strong light source, both phones are almost the same. In terms of highlights, I think earlier I mentioned that I like the highlights of Pixel 8 Pro better because it doesn't blend the colors like what S24 Ultra is doing, just a flat bluish tint. This is the close-up shot and both phones are using the ultra-wide lens for macro and they can take really close-up shots. In terms of exposure and noise reduction, Galaxy S24 Ultra will expose the scene better but it's also noisier while Pixel 8 Pro cleans up the noise better. Talking about sharpness on the ultra wide, it's a little bit noisy on S24, almost the same output on the main sensor. Obviously, the 3x optical zoom of S24 Ultra is better than Pixel 8 Pro, and the Samsung flagship has a better reach than Google Pixel. And lastly, details for the 12 megapixel JPEG, I think it's almost the same, just a difference in colors and white balance. If we go to the 200 megapixel versus 50 megapixel readout, the 200 megapixel of S24 Ultra is a little soft, there's no over sharpening on the photo. So this is the image test of Google Pixel 8 Pro and Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. A little bit of advantage of S24 Ultra on the portrait mode, but Pixel 8 Pro on night shot. Now let's do the video test from the stabilization, cinematic, and low light. This is the selfie cinematic mode. Galaxy S24 Ultra has portrait video. Google Pixel 8 Pro doesn't. This is the video zoom test and both phones has the same reach. I think Pixel 8 Pro might be a little sharper. This is the stabilization test starting with the ultra wide lens. I like the contrast on Google Pixel 8 Pro but the stabilization on S24 Ultra is a little bit better. This is the main sensor in 4K 30fps and again, like the ultra wide lens, Pixel 8 Pro is a little bit bouncy. This is the stabilization on the 5x optical zoom of Pixel 8 Pro and 3x and 5x of S24 Ultra and in walking vlog, stabilization feels the same. This is the selfie video recording in 4K 30fps and in terms of stabilization almost the same, just a difference in contrast, brighter on S24 Ultra and darker on Pixel 8 Pro. This is the slow motion test and you have 4K 120fps on S24 Ultra while you only have Full HD on Pixel 8 Pro. And lastly, low light video. I think we will all agree that the sensors on S24 Ultra is superior than Pixel 8 Pro. You will see that Pixel is noisier and darker, while S24 Ultra is better exposed. Pixel 8 Pro is still the best value camera phone you can buy today. There's nothing wrong with the camera performance to be honest. It has a great image quality and just a social performance on video, but this is much more affordable than the competition. 
Well, if you don't have any problems with budget, with 4K slow motion, 8K video recording, tons of cool camera features, and that insane reach, Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra might still be the best all-around camera phone. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll continue to compare these two phones in our channel, so stay tuned. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.